Hey everyone, welcome back to another reaction video for Play Casket and yet another episode that is solo just me. One of those reasons, well, Ghost is just kind of busy doing a lot of his uh, ghastly familial stuff. So make sure he uh, gets a big welcome when he returns. But we're going to go ahead and just hop right onto this. We're going to do another not E3 E3 season with LRG3 announcements so basically limited run games is going to show off a bunch of uh physical games as they always do and honestly it's one of the ones as a physical collector that is really exciting for me but uh i understand how there's some people who are just like nah we just want games you know lrg3 does these uh things that are very old or very indie and all that and to them i say uh fuck off and i'm gonna be collecting my whole shit um Honestly, I'm going to be kind of hoping for expectations on this. Um, it's going to be pretty tempered. The only things I kind of hope for is maybe that um, Night Dive will announce a Turok Rage Wars through this and I get a physical of it, but that might not happen. Um, I do believe that there's we're still not hearing anything on an update from Tomba or the Gex Trilogy or what have you yet, so we will probably see that again. And they'll probably give us some kind of... Um, window or something so here's hoping to that um most expectations honestly there's a lot of games like from the early age of switch that still haven't gotten anything really cool for physical for instance the hand of fate 2 has been a fun game that i would like to see in a physical format uh what was it the um it's a small rpg legrand legacy there's another one that uh i would like to have physical um and I haven't seen anybody really touch up on any of those. Um, and honestly, I feel like the only ones that are probably going to do it by this point is like super rares. But LRG is still also responsible for stuff from Konami and Sega and stuff too. So we might actually see something similar to that of like the Castlevania collection. We might get to see something maybe reach out with SNK, maybe get some kind of um, metal slug collection, which would be pretty cool. But those are uh, very outreaching systems. But let's go ahead and uh, get in involved in it and uh, see what they got in. Uh, see what they got uh, for all of us. So let's go ahead and hop into that. Rated RP to M. Many games featured are still in development. No, no crap. Gonna... Were you expecting someone else? Well, called it. And I was wondering what was going on, right? Gex. Gex. Finally, some information on Gex. Nice. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you at E3 2024. E3 2024. Man, that makes me sad. That <laughs> literally makes me sad that there's no E3. But at the same time, I'm. It, it's gotten cringe over the years. It's, it's not even worth it anymore. Holy crap. I remember those errands. Dude, Ridge Racer. <laughs> That's nice. One million troops. Wow. You're breathtaking. You're breathtaking. But the future refused to change. I weep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Limited Run Games 2024 E3 press conference. Here's your host, Josh Fairhurst. Hello, and welcome to our latest E3 uh -oh, press conference. Uh-oh, that kind of tells me that it might be another like FMV me, game like Night Trap, at the just like that. Hot new physical game reveals. Well, have I got a few of those for you. What I unveil today will mark a new era for the Empire. We will be able to decimate the rebels just as we oh, did. Oh shit, Jedi that's actually looks really good. The Emperor it's will been be a while since I've seen that one. Continue with your project. Those sounds you heard and believe come from their Wow. Own. That's a actually really cool. Honestly. Like this is one of the remakes that actually like a new shows a lot a of like that change that looks really really refreshing. And it's weird that Disney wants to even acknowledge like these extended universe video games. Maybe it's because Disney's losing a lot of money off all the crap Star Wars stuff going on. Like, you know what? What if we do the Star Wars Doom? So everybody forgets that the Alkalite Acolyte exists. That Don't worry, the internet will not let us forget that the Acolyte resists. 
stop where you are. That's cool. I'm excited about that. Wow. That's actually really one cool. One of my I favorite like classic Star Wars games, remastered by the expert artisans at Night Dive. How about some Night more Dive does a lot games? of impressive stuff. <laughs> How many games does this, like, Phantasm Soldier even have? I need to look that up. Like, holy crap, man. I'm not surprised how many th that there's of this game and like people keep saying it was like too taboo it's just like a really hard version of Castlevania because it doesn't have the same amount of reach it's just it's brutal I say that and then she uses a whip in the next scene of course she does of course she does I remember hearing a lot about Valis back in the Brawl era, and people were saying we should have her as like in Smash Bros. I had no idea what it was. What fate a slug cat? Pray, slug cat. Predator. As the old world died, a new ecosystem evolved. Artsy, fartsy, rain indie. Actually, Rain World is actually really good, though. I, I actually have a PC. It's fun. For its, own it's kind of trippy, though, when you actually start thinking about a lot of it. It's kind of crazy. Which it seeks to deny. And through this ruined landscape, strange monstrosities and ancient mysteries, Slug Cat journeys alone. It is a search for shelter. Search for answers. answers. A search for hope. What fate the slug cat? The movements are pretty good, though. I'll say that. Like when you're not playing it and stressing out over all the like articulate platforming, it's actually this really good to watch. This next collection features a classic '90s beat 'em up that almost became Streets of Rage 4. Oh shit! There's some Sega connections right there. Old 90s when women still look like women and dudes look like giant meatheads. I don't know, I'm enjoying this like PlayStation Nintendo 64 era like resurgence. I'm all about it, dude. It's so great. It's so nostalgic. I'm just gonna just. I'm excited for it all more. I'm about that. That's exciting right there, too. 2025. Ugh. Watch like this release people, with uh, Metro Prime I love 4. I charming 2D platformers. So take a look at this next one that will be digitally and physically publishing. Mmm, that funky music. I, I, I like that. Archaeology! That's that's how archaeologists really do. That's how you know they are real archaeologists, guys. Looks pretty smooth though. I like it. Kind of um this game that it reminds me of. It's not Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight doesn't remove that smoothly, but Shovel Knight's really fun because it has like that extra clunkiness that just feels very nostalgic. Renane. 
The original Wolfenstein 2 release on the Switch required a 9 gigabyte download containing oh, the yeah. last two chapters of the story. We're excited to announce that we'll be doing a new physical release of the game <laughs> with the entire single player campaign complete on I, cartridge. I don't know why a lot of people just completely trash the hell out of like LRG a lot. Like I'm not trying to be like this simp for them, but like it's this is the crap that makes me excited to actually like have somebody actually do this, and make it a complete release. Like damn, dude. Like that's all it would take. You know? Answer me, is he alive? He's awake. Hey, look at that jumping bastard. The only person on the planet hard enough to survive getting his head chopped off. Come and fucking get me, you fascist Nazi pigs. Full fucking throttle. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Wolfenstein was fun. But literally, it's, it's like being complete. Like the, when you make physicals, I am actually willing to wait six months if they could just do a physical release with like Without all the day one ado, patches and stuff. Another in it. exciting announcement. Direct. Like, I'd be willing to, to do that. More Valis, I guess. No, it's probably not. It's anime as fuck, though. Like '90s anime as fuck. Our next announcement is a game based on everyone's favorite, real American heroes. I think that's the beat em up. Yep, there's the beat em up. Like, everyone's getting into the beat em up thing nowadays, too. I've noticed that. Like, just about everyone. Even um, Power Rangers just announced one as well recently, which looks really fun, too. I'm not a huge G.I. Joe fan, so there's that. But, oh well. There's just so many going on. Our friends at Clear River Games have several amazing new games coming that will be available physically from Limited Run. Classic monkey shooters here. I wonder if adding so many of those bonus like features and stuff makes anything feel less nostalgic you know what I mean I mean there's the part where you can just have like the classic feel the classic game but then because of all the technology and like reduces all the random slowdowns you used to have and I don't think anybody wants to add those in but I feel like that would that would actually be cool to just have so people feel that like remember how slow certain areas was for that too you know like Mega Man. Mega Man had a lot of that, like that. That's Snow Bros again? <laughs> what the hell? It has to be Snow Bros again. Snow Bros Wonderland. Yep, called it. The Snow Bros. Two to what? Oh, hey. Nice. 
It's really cool. I haven't. St I still need to probably play that for the first one. I'll probably do that one when our when our recordings when we do an actual I've casket made it talk no again. That I'm a big fan of Sega's Dreamcast, so this reveal will come as no surprise. Tomba. Wait, that's that's um... oh, nope. It's Sega. What the hell? I mean, Streamcast, I shouldn't be surprised how weird some of this shit is. Oh, it's the VR games. Sucks to be me, I can't use VR. <laughs> Just jam into the music, watch as we get de demonetized even more. <laughs> just sitting here, just bobbing my head, just to this soon. Like, yeah, this is all right though. I'm, I could deal. I could deal with it sitting here and waiting. I could do that. Smash VRS. I'm extremely excited to announce this next one, a 3D platformer from some of the former developers of Sonic Mania. Ah, there we go. Hell yeah. I kind of, I was guessing that LRG was going to do pennies, honestly. I literally honestly was going to see if that had happened. Like such good that that game is such great fun, honestly. I'm excited that it's gonna get physical now. Honestly, I'm glad for more like, like the, poor, the better than that. Words are hard. More platformers are coming out, and like the several of them are actually doing really good, and actually play really smoothly. There was like a small stint before, like after the Wii, or no, after the GameCube, and before like the Switch time frame, action adventure games like 2014 or something like that, was just like really cheesy, clunky platformers. Games. Oh shit, we're finally gonna get Beyond Good and Evil, but never to because Ubisoft can't finish shit. <laughs> Jade, I'm actually surprised about ago, that, oh, actually. Your parents put you under my care. They just need that stylish look like that again. Like that's all they need, and they're just trying to push this like realistic, woke bullshit in the first, second one, and it's just sad. If you want, I'll go alone. Okay, we'll go together. But I'm sticking to you like V's on, honey. Whether you like it or not. That was a really good game. And it's funny how, like, this game does have, like, like, some woke elements. But honestly, it's one of those times, like, woke is just all forced. It's just, like, you have to constantly, like, 
monologue the crap to you about how you should feel bad about liking old shit. Whereas old ones have just made you actually have to sit there and think like, yeah, you know what? You're right, you know? Maybe you have to think about that a little bit. Only 60 frames per second, not 120? Scrubs. Scrubs. Paige, you've been hiding this from me for the past 20 years. I'm actually and surprised we'd be so put that on Switch, honestly. Beat em up games. Oh no. Oh no. More. More beat em ups. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Movies. That's actually... Huh. I don't know how to think about that, honestly. <laughs> oh wow. That takes me back. Holy crap. That that puts it that puts an age on me right there. Wow. I didn't even see this game come up. I'm pretty sure they announced it somewhere, but I did not see it until just now. That's Wow, that's nostalgic as fuck. Like didn't it? TV shows only had like three seasons or something like that too. Like it wasn't like hugely popular, but for some reason every guy about my age remembers it. You used to have like toys that just had like fake ooze and stuff too. Yeah, yeah, I remember it. Holy crap! Wow! And would you believe we have even more exciting physical games to reveal? It wasn't the victims that caught my eye. It was their killer. Hitman. Having him on the loose was just too dangerous. We were so confident we set up an international task force to hunt him down and destroy. I hope it's a collection, honestly. That was a fun that was a fun stealth game. No lie. No, it's just that it's just the port they had over a while back. A classic PlayStation game with gorgeous cel-shaded visuals is coming to modern platforms for the first time in its original form. <laughs> that suggests plumbers don't wear a tie sequel. <laughs> oh here, fear effect! Hell yeah! The first set of like canonical lesbians in a video game and nobody said anything was ever worried about it, but now because other ones did it, somehow they're always the first. Solid game though. That game was awesome. It's like, um, was it a uh, Resident Evil Dino Crisis mix with um, uh, Goldeneye? It was fun. It's good stuff. And we're not done yet. We have even more exciting physical game releases ahead. War has begun. At the frontier of the <laughs> almost immediately thought of Helldivers. Colonies are under but it's, um, it's, uh, what is it? Starship Troopers. Ruthless. Barbaric. And downright ugly. The Bug. 
But fear not, loyal citizen. The Deep Space <laughs> Vanguard is ready. We have the you gotta have a lot of media literacy to actually and feel sympathy bases. for the bugs. We have the weapons. Honestly, that's a good idea. The Starship Troopers Tower Defense. I'm surprised we they haven't done that soldiers. sooner, honestly. Soldiers that would have been... I'm surprised that. And you. Smash. Tiger spotted. Just you. <laughs> Over there. Expendable you, soldier. Join us now. <laughs> I did play quite a bit of Helldivers. That's fun. I just get my ass kicked on the robots all the time, man. All the time. And remember, service guarantees citizenship. Extermination. General Rico here. You report to me now, troopers. So they actually got the guy who voiced him, voiced the original character this next too. One That's is cool. A beloved 360 cult classic. Obviously, I Finally noticed it wasn't on Switch, but it's all right. It still can be cool. From I Rock. see Turok. I see Turok. I see Turok. It's a hint, right? No. Okay. Oh shit! Lo Lollipop. Uh, yeah, he did announce that he was gonna get port. He was gonna port that game over to the Switch recently too. I remember this game was like all like a huge cringe fist, but nowadays like it just looks like a premium quality game now compared to what's being made nowadays. That's kind of sad, honestly. Oof. I didn't make this game come out on like the original Xbox or the 360. I think it was the 360. It's been a while. It's obscene, absurd, and ridiculous. I don't know why I didn't like care to actually look into it more when I was like, when I was younger because that shit is just fucking hilarious to look at now. So ridiculous. It's great. Needs a sequel now. Lollipop Potenza! Nice. Physical pre orders nice. for Lollipop Chainsaw Repop Very will nice. open next month. Keep your eyes peeled for further updates. Before we get to our next big announcements, we're going to show you some new updates and trailers for games that we announced in the past. About time. There we go. The not Tomba Tomba and maybe announce Tomba. They, they'll probably cover Tomba next too. That game looks like great fun though. I, like I miss those type of like just weird uh, abstract looking like levels and stuff. It's just just it's just because the technology wasn't there, but now it's just great. I like it. absurdity of like obscure game villains is great Tonight, watch the next one's gonna be on Tomba. special live no? edition okay. of ghosts it won't be us going into the haunted house for a change this is where the magic happens no we've got some friends who are gonna try it's that ghost hunter game night. I like kept seeing all over YouTube okay, isn't it they come now Almost 
every room in this house has a story to tell, and tonight we're hoping those rooms are going to divulge their secrets. Huh. No, it's Don't be an FMV. I'm, I'm guessing it's that one game. House. Because um, there are actually some, it's just some volunteers. Are you, are... you think this is some sort of joke? This is not, you could, their lives are in danger. You can't leave them in that house. A new FMV game? Is it really going to be an FMV game? Holy shit, it probably is. I've got absolutely no memory of what happened after that. Uh oh. That's that's weird. I don't know how I feel about new FMV games, honestly. So yeah, apparently it is an FMV game. I thought it was just going to be an intro Hi, to I'm some Thomas like Kine, one game. Lead developer of Rugrats Adventure Game. It's called. Everyone's favorite babies, Tommy, Chucky, Phil, and Lil, are all here for a brand new classic-style platforming adventure. Here at the Mix Games, we've teamed up with Wallride to bring back the era of awesome 8-bit licensed video games. And when we say 8-bit, we mean it. This game was developed from the ground up to run on the original NES. But we didn't stop there. Wow. We developed the game with modern audiences in mind as well. The entire game has been given a modern gorgeous, audiences. fully hand-drawn makeover by Angry Metal. You can choose between the two art styles with the flip of a switch. Play in classic 8-bit mode or glorious HD anytime you'd like. If you're a fan of classic 8-bit platforming with a modern twist, you owe it to yourself to play Rugrats Adventures in Game Land. Coming soon to Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. This next they already focuses that, I think. on our Carbon Engine technology. The Carbon Engine is a technology we developed in-house to help our partners revive their classic games. Some of these games have been announced. I honestly think the Carbine or Carbon Engine is what's bringing a lot of Enjoy. these like major developers to their door, like Sega and Konami and stuff. Honestly, I think they're really I've doing that. I've been gone for some time. My name has echoed through the shadows. More Gex, not just the Gex trilogy. Yeah. What, are they going to have All the uh, advanced games as well? Games thought to be lost in time. Like tears. And that was still probably like the highlight mind. from last year. It's like the highlight was Gex coming out. Period. That was just insane that he was coming back. People keep asking if I'm back. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm back. Go to LRG <laughs> for some GE eggs, baby. Wow. More Shantae. It's probably actually just for the P uh, the PlayStation Five or something like that. Because I think I think the Switch has them all already. I think. I'm actually surprised that Shantae hasn't had a lot more games than they actually did get. They, I don't know, did they, did they do the uh, Game Boy, uh, Shantae Advance out already for the Switch? I think they did, they just haven't shipped those out yet. More ninjas. N. I. G. Oh, J. No, N. Ninja. Ninja.
Ninja five. Ninja fiver. Ninja five o. Oh, it is Ninja five o. Yeah, see, there's Konami right there. Called it. We're so lucky to live in a mansion like this, right, Jennifer? Clock Tower. Yeah, I think the carbon engine is a lot better for like those games that are just so obscure that didn't never got to see the light of day. Clock Tower being one of them. El Shaddai that they just recently did was another good example. Um, Magical World. Sega published it back on the GameCube, but it's not one of their own. I think would be another good one that they can do it with. Um, Earthworm Jim 64. Another solid one that could probably do too. That'd be really cool. Oh no, I stopped my, my trip so slowly. I can see a be this game being very eerie to deal with, honestly. Clock Tower Rewind. Coming soon on PC, Switch, PlayStation. They're probably gonna they're probably gonna do a lot of the sequels and stuff that they had too. I almost guarantee it. I can almost guarantee everything like that. Dear God, that box is horrifying. Damba called it. I remember seeing Double Shake and I'm like, man, it just kind of brings me back to the Tomba ages. And then like later that one same presentation, they were like, Tomba. I'm like, no fucking way. Tomba was insane. Tomba is what got me into a PlayStation, honestly. Is that and what is it? Uh, Guardians Crusade was another game. I'm not sure if that developer is even around anymore, but that game, I would... I'd buy that game too. That game was an actually a pretty decent uh, RPG at the time. Not the greatest out there. There was like several things that were better than it, but it was not bad. Ah, Tomba 2 again. Yeah, here we go. Got a sequel for that. And here I was joking about that. That's awesome. I wonder if these like old LRG like ports of these games would uh, lead to them actually making sequels eventually. Because honestly, I, could, I think that's why Gimmick even has the ability to even do a sequel right now. It's just like rough. That's a Smash Brothers invite. Watch what happens. The Smash Brothers invite. Thank you for tuning in to this year's LRG3 press conference. We're hopeful we announced something that surprised and delighted you. But it wouldn't be LRG3 without just one more thing. Everyone has to do the one more thing now ever since Nintendo was doing it. Uh oh. What was it gonna do? Here? Oh no! Ew! Oh shit! Were you expecting someone? Else? <laughs> uh oh. No. No. Bubsy, the perfect collection. What could possibly go wrong? Oh. 
Oh my god, no. <laughs> That's... Oh my... No. 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 Uh... I don't know how I don't I don't know how I'm I'm supposed to uh, digest digest that one. I was honestly I thought they were gonna go with an actual Goldeneye like port this time because they were doing that misleading with the Gex part, and then when it started doing the same thing, I'm like, oh, what what classic weirdo mascot character do we have this time? Because Ty's already out. They've already announced Gex. I really couldn't think of anyone else really right now, but that does sound like it would be a Bubsy thing too to announce in that way. But <laughs> why? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, that's gonna sit for me for a bit. But um, let's, let's recap. You know, there we go. Um, not bad. It wasn't the greatest one, but not bad. They actually like. I think they didn't do any of the, um, what do they call it? The, like, special little, uh, sequences they do between the game announcements like they usually do. The dude was just basically walking the store and announcing games and goofy locations and weird little areas and stuff like that. Uh, I did see the background constantly kind of hinting at stuff. It might not be stuff that they're going to be ready to announce now. It might be stuff that they might be kind of thinking of exploring in general, um... I saw on the whiteboard stuff about a um, plumbers don't wear ties too, which is horrifying to think about, but at the same time, cringy enough to be enjoyable. But LRG owns that IP now, so they can technically do that if they so wish. And I think the game Ghost, the one that I said is going to be a new FMV game, I think is probably their litmus test for that, from my understanding, from what I'm seeing. And like that first knee-jerk reaction without any like time to really mull anything over. I think that's what I'm seeing there. Um, yeah, some recaps on stuff we've been waiting on for a long time, um, which is good. I'm glad that they're still acknowledging some of that stuff. Uh, there is numbers. I'm like I've been collecting LRG for a while. There's still numbers out there that still don't like match. They don't still don't gel with it. But is what it is, I suppose. And um, yeah, um, I think I think last year's was a lot better than this one. Um, the one more thing was I, I think that one's going to be a very mixed bag of responses because even I'm like, ooh, like I don't I don't see Bubsy being very good at, at all. <laughs> like even if they were like allowed to change the um, mechanics of the game, so they 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 uh control better like i do i think the whole fact the um the whole uh uh what do you call it the um appeal of those games is because they're so bad that people still now will go through it so they could force themselves to play a horrible game to do a review or suffer through with a let's play or what have you so they can say you know we're one of these guys who will play one of these horrible games and just go from there um nitro red even did it even though his whole thing is like just platformers in general um but uh yeah no there's there's a lot less rpgs than i expected this year honestly i've i think i think there was only like maybe one rpg i even if that you know um i guess a lot of uh japan is starting to just publish their own stuff i guess and uh carrying from there but not a bad one um go ahead and like you know if you if you uh found stuff that you thought you would like to point out to me just feel free uh to kind of comment on it and stuff uh as always uh we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up and uh Thank you all for joining me on another reaction video. Uh, if you like, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, we will see you on the other side.